Okay, one of the important elements for any research is problem statement. So before we start with anything, we need to really make sure that our problem statements are concise in order for us to avoid any misdirection of the research. So in this case, the problem is to group machine performance for the purpose of CBM and if we look at the second paragraph we can see that the problems that need to be solved are stated so here we can see that okay when the machines in a flow line manufacturing systems are monitored continuously or periodically the information about the condition of the machines will take, make it possible to plan the maintenance operation optimally. If the maintenance activities are carried out individually as they are warranted, higher setup costs and longer system downtime, downtime are required than if the maintenance activities are executed together according to a grouping policy. So, by using a group maintenance schedule, the total downtime of the manufacturing system could be reduced and the uptime efficiency of the system could be improved. So the issue is how to find the optimal schedule to carry out all maintenance action with low maintenance cost and high system efficiency. So that is where the reinforcement learning comes in. We will use it in order to find the optimal time for us to conduct con condition-based uh, maintenance for a group of machines simultaneously. So this paper pre presents an adaptive Q-learning algorithm that finds the best dynamic grouping maintenance policy for a real-time decision-making based on continuously changing information about machine condition. So this is one of the highlights. Dynamic grouping maintenance policy. So uh, at a certain time, because the monitoring is done continuously, so they will find a different group that need to be maintained. So sometimes uh, one machine tends to fail a longer compared to the others. So by using Q learning algorithm, this research is capable to find the best dynamic grouping uh, for the maintenance purposes. Okay, and in the in section four they propose a Q learning algorithm for a reinforcement learning where the basic of the algorithm is as the following so here the basic function is uh, the utility function for q learning state that the actions and state will result in a specific reward obtained by the agent. So this is the uh, graphical uh, representation where we have certain, uh, we have two entities, the RL agent and the environment and there are three interactions. The first interaction is the uh, state observation. Uh, this could be done by using uh, sensors and then the agent will process the information received before any action will be taken and when the action has been taken there will be certain reward uh, gained by the agent so these are the equations and if we look at the basics equation okay this is the basic of uh, reinforcement learning so, uh, two entities, agent and environment, and three, interaction. 
the first one is uh, state observation and then the uh, agent will take certain action uh, that it deems uh, appropriate to the state before it will gain um, corresponding reward so the same if you look at the example here so if a rat want to uh, find specific reward find some uh, cheese here within a maze so the rat will have to move around and map the um, layout so here there will be certain action and observation and finally if the uh, rat uh, successfully find the cheese so it will receive the uh, uh, the desired uh, outcomes so and also we can see this is the basic equations for the RL where uh, it has certain components the first component is the current state so current state is what um, the agent is uh, having at the moment at t at time t and um, based on certain observation so the agent will take certain uh, input the new input for t plus one so whenever the action is taken it will receive certain reward for the t plus one and that will be the um, current state before the agent moves to the next level so this is an iteration uh, process until the agent finds what is the desired outcome okay but the difference with the example that we see so here uh, this thread will have the ultimate goal of finding the cheese but for other uh, examples of uh, using the enforcement learning agent the process is continuous so we uh, can achieve the outcomes during the observation of the agent okay let us see what uh, we have here so that are the uh, we have here the introduction of the uh, reinforcement learning queue learning based uh, reinforcement learning Q learning is one of the type for reinforcement learning and these are all uh, some of the uh, review done by other researchers and in section 5 they stated what are the um, uh, problem that they want to solve the case study that they want to solve okay so here they have um, the definition okay let's xi indicate the condition of workstation i uh, meaning that they might have uh, many workstation and each of the workstation can exist in one of the c conditions so if we look at the condition of the agent uh, sorry of the workstation they will have to be able to, uh, to to have four conditions so in this example they have uh, 16 workstation each of the workstation will have four condition that is uh, like new good poor and broken so based on these four conditions the agent will conduct the grouping process in order to um, propose the suitable timing to conduct CBM so most likely the agent will propose the CBM to be conducted before the uh, machines entered broken uh, condition okay let us see okay here are the uh, total number of workstation n equal to nl ng nt nb so system state is represented by this uh, 
tuple okay let's say uh, we have set s consists of 16 0 0 0 15 1 0 0 14 2 0 0 and so on so for instance the state the first one 8 2 5 1 indicates that there are 8 uh, workstations with like new condition uh, two workstation in uh, good condition five in poor and one in uh, broken condition so when we implement the q learning algorithm so it will be able uh, to process the information uh, of how the machine uh, interacts and what need to be uh, done in order to avoid the machine enters a broken condition so in this case it will process um, the information with uh, n16 workstation uh, four conditions possible conditions uh, six, 969 different states 16 possible action and 15,504 unit uh, state action pair and it will be done continuously in order to monitor the system and then we will have the details these are some of the actions uh, and how the uh, RL agent uh, trainings uh, before we test so in this section we can see that uh, they consider Boltzmann exploration um, for the uh, Q values update and uh, okay these are not standard reinforcement learning so in journals because these uh, papers are published in journals uh, it is normal that they mix um, more than one uh, techniques in order to solve a specific problem but for our level right now uh, we are not going to consider the uh, the mixture, the hybridization of other techniques. We just uh, learn about the reinforcement learning. So this one you you don't have to to know, but you need to remember the uh, the initial equations that uh, we have here, and also the uh, specific agent. Uh, graphical representation here okay this is the okay finally they uh, they map the uh, condition of the machines workstation into the original reinforcement learning equation so they have some um, parameters here for example the number of workstation uh, the state, uh, the action, 0 or 1 action, depending on whether or not a maintenance action is, uh, should be taken at time t, uh, reward in dollars, uh, penalty in dollars, uh, reward if we take um, correct action, penalty if we, for example, we take wrong action and delay the uh, maintenance requirement, uh, penalties in dollars for undertaking maintenance action and so on. So these are all the details uh, they considered uh, for this research. Okay, and finally they, they compared between the original uh, RL and also the updated Q table after the Boltzmann uh, exploration. And um, it is expected that the Boltzmann uh, exploration is or can yield better result. Okay, so the others are just the details. You may read the remaining of the papers in order to find uh, the comparison. Uh, so for example, here in figure 7, the comparison of total uh, downtime. So we can see that the, by using CDM, we can reduce the uh, system downtime and also we can increase the uptime efficiency. So please read and uh, make yourself understand this paper.